Drag and drop is simply the easiest way to move data around in a user interface. And when it comes to the 3D Experience platform, it's used extensively. Now you can fall back and rely on the pull down menus if you need to, but drag and drop really should be considered the way. Let me show you. We'll start in X Sheet Metal, but really any of the X apps or simulation tools will work. First, we'll drag and drop from our collaborative space to open the file in X Sheet Metal. And your collaborative spaces are your storage locations. Next, we'll drag and drop from our bookmarks editor to insert a SOLIDWORKS file into the X Sheet Metal session. Now if I want to organize my data and give it specific searchability, I can drag it from my 3D space and tag it with a bookmark by dropping it to the desired folder. I can then drag that into the XApp session as well. Once the new document is saved, I can use the revision history window to add this file to the bookmark structure as well. Now over to a different dashboard. We can visualize and annotate the data by dragging it from our bookmark editor to our other widgets like 3D Annotation, 3D Compose, and the Product Structure Editor. To view data, we can drag it into 3D Play and add some annotations. Then we can start a quick swim post and get input from others. Here, I'll drag some Excel data into our NetVibes metric reader and display the data privately or share it with others on the team. Finally, when adding or updating tasks in the project planner, you can simply attach the data directly to the task setting up the task owner for success. More still, drag and drop your tasks from one state to another when you reach milestones. And of course, you even drag and drop the widgets on your tabs to arrange them in the way that works best for your 3D experience. And all of these examples represent the tip of the iceberg. In this short three and a half minute video, we showed 14 different methods to move, access, and open data on the 3D Experience platform using drag and drop, and there are dozens more. The main theme is, is if you think it should work somewhere, try it, it probably does. And if you know of a method that works that I didn't show, I'm gonna put my email address down in the description, so let me know about it. It's an opportunity for me to learn something too. And be sure to check out our other 3D Experience Platform Tips and Tricks videos. I'm Darren at Go Engineer. I'll catch you next time.